talk here today for Wednesday, April 19th, goes to Steve Stevens, uh, again, the coward who killed 78-year-old Robert Godwin Sr. Rest in peace to him. Now, here's the good news. Steve Stevens is dead. Uh, he killed himself yesterday. Drop one of Clues Bombs for that. Okay. Round of applause for Steve Stevens being deceased. Uh, I'm glad he's dead. I wish he would have killed himself before he killed Robert Godwin Sr. Now, I already gave Steve Stevens donkey of the day this week for what he did, but now he needs to get a donkey in death because of how he went out. Now, this guy absolutely deserved to die with zero honor whatsoever, and this is exactly what happened. See, Steve Stevens got hungry, and when his stomach started rumbling, he decided to pull over to those golden arches that we all know and love, McDonald's, Mickey D's, the house that Ronald McDonald built. Okay, Steve Stevens was, bah, 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 I'm loving, loving it. it. Yes, yeah, Steve Stevens was all over the internet, all over TV. Everybody not only knows what he looks like, but I personally thought I saw him three times this week myself. Okay, so I don't know what made Steve Stevens' big dumb ass feel like he could just roll up to a McDonald's, order a number three supersize, and keep it moving. But that's exactly what he attempted to do. You don't believe me? Well, go to WKYC TV NBC for the report, please. It was a savvy McDonald's drive through worker who may be the recipient of that $50,000 reward from the FBI. That's a maybe. What is certain is that that action ended a nationwide manhunt. Let's take you there. Just before 11.15 this morning, it was this McDonald's, that back window, the one where you pay before you pick up your food. Stevens came through. He rolled down his window, and that first window worker recognized the car and the driver. The staff there stalled his order of 20 McNuggets and fries long enough to notify police. Stevens noticed that something was off, the manager there tells me, but waited just long enough for state police to show up, and that triggered that chase. Tonight, the McDonald's manager, in his own words. The drive through employee that was working at the time recognized him or thought, uh, noticed that the car was Ohio tags on it and it was a white fusion, took his money and he pulled to the next window. Meanwhile, she stepped out of there and called the state police right away. Basically just told him it was going to be a minute for his fries, which it wasn't really. We were just trying to make sure she got in contact with the state police. Police boxed Stevens in and that is when using a pistol in his own car, he ended his own life. Drop one of the clues bombs for that McDonald's worker. Okay. All heroes don't wear capes. Sometimes they wear McDonald's visors. All right? Let's unpack this a little bit. Steve Stevens didn't even attempt to disguise himself. Shave your beard, put a wig on, a hat and some sunglasses. You just rolled up all bald with a beard, driving the same white Ford Fusion that the whole country knows you was driving. Not to mention, we all love hot french fries, right? So when the mm -hmm. person at the drive through says it's going to be a few minutes on the fries, we don't trip because we know they're going to be hot. Okay? H-A-W-T, hot. But the difference between us and the Steve Stevens of the world is we aren't on the run for killing anyone on Facebook Live. If you're on the run for killing someone on Facebook Live and it's a $50,000 reward on your bald head and somebody says, wait one second, common sense would say, oh, I'm out. But we already know in Steve's world, common sense ain't so common. So not, only did, it, <laughs> so not only did this dumb ass wait, he tried to escape the police in a Ford Fusion. You know, Steve, you didn't think any of this through, did you? Uh -uh. This is why you never move off emotion. Steve decided to make a permanent decision based off temporary feelings, and that's why he had no follow-through with any of this stuff. Okay, therefore, he died hungry, angry, with absolutely zero honor, and for what? Now that woman Joy you love so much that you said you did all of this over, she gonna be out here popping that poom poom for a Cleveland goon, getting all the hot fries she want while you rotting in hell. And I don't feel sorry for you, not even a little bit. Your Uncle Charlotte tells you all the time, kids, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. Steve Stevens made a series of poor choices, and when you make poor choices, these are the consequences to those poor choices. Please give Steve Stevens the biggest hee-haw, please. Uh -huh.